everybody. Today we have Dell Precision 5570 series. It's an Intel Core i7 12th gen with great graphics RTX A1000. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. So start with bottom screws. You, you have to use the T5 Torx screwdriver. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest, so find a gap where you can put your tool in and use only a plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Alright, so that's one of the fans. Here we have the part number. And that's our second fan. Here we have the part number. And that's our heat sink. Be very careful, don't bend it. It won't work if you bend it. Here we have the part number. So the heat sink covers the processor and the GPU, graphics processing unit. They both soldered on the motherboard. So if they don't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Okay, now we can see our Wi-Fi card here. Unfortunately, it is soldered on the motherboard. So if it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. And we are pulling out now the motherboard and the I.O. board. So let's start with the I.O. board. So that's our card reader I.O. board. If it doesn't work, you can replace just this board. Now let's unplug the all the remaining connectors and we are pulling out the motherboard. By the way, that, those are our speakers and if the sound is bad, you can replace your speakers. So we just take out these two screws. And now we can take out the speaker. Here we have the part number. Okay, let's continue with the motherboard. Mm. That's our video cables for the screen. So <coughs> we have to disconnect them.
Okay, the motherboard is out. Here we have the part number. Now let's take out the screws for the hinges. We are disconnecting the screen. Now we can unfold the Palmer's keyboard assembly and we can disconnect it. Here we have the part number for the keyboard and for the palm rest and for the touchpad here. As we can see, the touchpad is held by these tiny screws. So if you need to replace the touchpad, you can do it. But if you have to replace the keyboard, you have to replace the whole keyboard palm rest assembly like that. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot take it out. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. That's our screen. Very fragile, very thin, so usually sold in one piece. If you try to pull it out, you, you are risking breaking the LCD. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.